once we have all three modalities, the three different grades of lasers that can achieve results that patients will, will appreciate. So let's review the different types of lasers we have. For many years, we've had the CO2, CO2, carbon dioxide. That's just the type of medium that the laser uses. This is the carbon dioxide laser for resurfacing. So it's sort of the gold standard, but it has the longest recovery period. The way that laser works is to vaporize, not burn, but vaporize the top layers of the skin. And then over a matter of weeks and months afterward, the skin regenerates. But as it regenerates, it does a number of things. Number one, it forms new smooth skin. The wrinkles are gone. Number two, because of the type of energy that's entered into the skin, that goes into the skin, conducted into the skin, the collagen in the skin denatures and then reforms. It remodels. And so we see an improving result over six months after the laser is done. And this actually gives tightening to a face as well as gets rid of a lot of the sun damage and fine lines that people have. And it also helps in areas that with little spots. But there is a recovery involved. In fact, there's two weeks where the patient looks pretty unexposable. They can't go out because new skin has to form. Then after about two weeks, sometimes three weeks, the patients can use makeup and then they can go on out. But there still is a redness to the skin for a few months afterward. Now, that may be too long a, a recovery for some patients to tolerate because of their, their, their social schedule or their, or, their, or their job. So that may not be the best modality for them, but it does give the best results. And then we moved into another laser called a fractionated carbon dioxide laser. And this laser is less powerful than the CO2 laser that's fully ablative. And what it does, instead of totally taking off the top layer of skin, sends down little pulses of energy in different spots. And so, because it doesn't totally take off the top layer of skin, there's less of a healing phase, less time to heal. The results are still quite good, but it's not the same as the fully ablative CO2. So here we're looking at a recovery time of 10 to 12 days at, at, at maximum, depending upon the settings that we use. And we can also modify those settings so the recovery is even less. Both of these carbon dioxide lasers, the fully ablative and the fractionated, are one-time treatments. Some patients may say, well, gosh, I, I don't even have 10 days. What can you do for me? And here's where we talk about the Fraxel laser. And the Fraxel laser is another type of fractionated or non-totally ablative laser that sends down little focuses of energy into the skin. But it does this with less power and a different laser modality. Now, this one has very little recovery time, uh, really only a few days, but differing from the other two uh, lasers, this requires about three to five treatments. And so one doesn't have to give up a lot of time all at once, but one has to, has to invest in three to five treatment sessions, usually spaced about a month apart. This Fraxel laser is also very good for pigment. Now again, just like with the fractionated CO2 laser, the results of this are not gonna be as dramatic as the stronger lasers. So you're not gonna see quite so much tightening of the skin, quite so much diminution of the, uh, of the wrinkles, but you're gonna see a definite improvement. The less strong lasers, the fractionated CO2 laser and the Fraxel laser can also be done on the neck and the chest area. The fully ablative of CO2 cannot because it's too strong and that might cause problems in healing in the neck or the chest area. So with the less powerful lasers, we're able to treat and improve lines and pigmentation in the neck and also the upper chest areas.